there we go. I like dogs. What did you say? Dogs. Dogs are awesome. Yep. They're loyal. Yep. They're friendly. Pig. Pigs are cool. <clears throat> yep. Pigs are kind of messy though. Penguin. Penguin? Yep. Can't go wrong with a penguin. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Music. Music. Yep. I love me some music. Me too. Do you like soft music that's peaceful or do you like some loud rock and roll? No, 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 no. Me too. I blast it. Me too. You ever blast music in a car? No. Truck. In a truck. <laughs> that's a good old American dream. Blasting in music van. in the van. Yep. How do you feel when you're blasting music in the van? Good. I don't think there's any better feeling Dogs. than being on the open road with your dog, your little puppy, blasting some rock and roll yep. with the, the wind in your face, playing that air guitar. Me too. That's the tops. That's tops in life. Got a little air drum. <laughs> trombone. Oh, you, you even got the trombone. <laughs> That's like a little ska music. <laughs> I'm all about that. When we first adopted him, we were told uh, he might not ever walk or talk. And kind of went to pick him up at his foster home and they basically just handed him over and said, go for it. So we did. Punk rock. You like punk rock? Yep. I love me some punk rock. <laughs> you wanna hear something funny? Yep. When I was in high school, I had a mohawk. Yep. And I listened to punk rock. Punk rock is awesome. Is punk rock your favorite? Yep. Can you tell me about his love of music? Yes, yeah, so um, pretty much that's all he wants to do. Is listen to music, sing music, play music. Um, and he's very gifted at it. He has the best rhythm ever. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? A cello. A cello, yep. okay. Drums? Drums? Yep. Good time. Uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You're liking this, aren't you? Uh, I mean, <laughs> like the attention. Miguel yeah. is just Miguel. There's no other person like Miguel. He's been cool from day one. Do you like any sports? No. No sports? Football. Football. Do you like to watch? Yeah. Them? Oh, a little karate? Uh, Doing a little kick down there? <laughs> Fred B. Frisbee. Frisbee is a good sport. That's right. Dogs. Dogs. Drugs. Magic. I appreciate you telling me all about all your favorite things. I'm scared. What are you scared of? Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Uh. Bigfoot is scary. If we ever saw him. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Uh. And music. Would you rather talk about music? That's right. What? Bunzo. Whiskey hot dog. Whiskey hot dog. <laughs> can you tell me about Miguel's train of thought? Um, I can try, but you know, that's so funny because he is pretty random. Because uh, you can ask him the same question twice. He's going to give you a different answer pretty much every time. But most of the time, he's going to be joking about it. Miguel loves being sarcastic. Yep. Yes. Maybe. I love telling jokes. Knock, knock. Who's I there? Paddy. Do you need to go potty? No. Potty who? Bacac. Bacac. Was that what a chicken says? Bacac. What's a chicken say? Bacac. How would you describe the bond you have as brothers? Very close. Very close. Amazing. We all shared a room growing up together, and Miguel had his own room, but m most of the time he was in, in our room with me and Lewis and yeah. Jacob. And Hop hop into different beds. Yeah, he'd, he'd just sleep with whoever, he'd crawl in bed and sleep with us, and he is just happy to be with us. He is the family glue, no matter what. Um, he Very keeps so us all together. That. Um, we can be fussing and fighting with each other, but it all comes back to this one. <laughs> yeah, he breaks that tension, doesn't he, sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah. Well, it started back in the 80s. We started dating in high school. When we were 16 when we met, um, had our first child, our second year in college. Began the family. Um, 
after five, I came home from work one day and we had been deciding perhaps to help a child, to find a child to help. Um, so we actually sought Miguel, we sought him out. Miggy dude. Yeah, you're Miggy dude. Who's this? Lena. Lala. Uh, Pugabug. I'm your big sister? Yep. Yeah. How would you describe your younger brother? Whiskey. Whiskey. The happiest kid I have ever met, probably <laughs> will ever meet, right? Miguel loves to... Drums. Play the drums. He loves to sing. He <laughs> loves to play the guitar with Make me. Fun. Yeah. What else do you like? Flute. Food? No, flute. Flute? Oh, we're not going to name instruments now. <laughs> <laughs> what other instruments do you like, Miguel? Cello. The cello? <laughs> Good job. What other instruments do you like? Banjo. The banjo. <laughs> we found Miguel, and I remember, I, I probably won't tell the story right, she'll correct me. Um, I got home and she said, well, I found our son. And she said, you said, but there's a... No, I said, you're not getting it right. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yes, that was, sons of... I found our sons, and I said, there's two. And she said, yeah, he's got a brother. I said, let's do it. So yeah. off we go, and on came the go. Uh, Lewis arrived young and strong. Um, no questions about that, ready to go. And he came, became our six-foot, you know, 240-pound football player. I actually got this tattoo um, with his birthday. And uh, there's a chromosome, so now I have an extra chromosome, just like Miguel, so we're just like... He and I, we have a, a good relationship. I think uh, uh, Miguel and I, we get along real well together. Papa is his favorite person in the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Say, I would trade anybody for my Papa. <laughs> Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. Good job. He's singing a song that actually only my grandfather sang to all of, all of us. Even since before you were born, Miggy dude, Grandpa sang that song to us. Mule train, clippity clopping through the wind and the rain. So we're going to reach the top. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clopping through the rain. There's a guitar for a cowboy way out in Arizona. We've always said that we're a little solar system and Miguel is our sun. And we all rotate around him. Me too. He's the glue that holds us together. Yep. Guess what? What? Wait. Did you say boat? Yep. Guess what? Wait. Truck. Truck. Cars. Cars? Yes. Planes. <laughs> Have you ever been on a plane? Red. Yeah. High. They are. They do. They go high. <laughs> Yes. How do you feel when a plane goes high? Good. Happy. What are all of Miguel's diagnoses? <laughs> Miguel has Down syndrome. He has pituitary dwarfism, which is a form of dwarfism caused by a lack of growth hormones being sent out into his body. He is legally considered okay. blind, Good. although you would never know <laughs> it. He maneuvers just fine. You cannot compare him to anyone else. There's no... Our doctors don't know any other child with Down syndrome that's legally blind and that also has pituitary dwarfism. You're not going to find a Miguel. So there's no comparison. So trying to uh, do the growth charts and, and, and compare it to another child, you're just not going to find it. Buzz. Plus? No, buzz. Boss? No, buzz. Say it again. Buzzes. Bosses? No. I said truck. Truck. It's a bus. And a bus. Yes. Thank you for correcting me and telling me what you said when I misunderstood you. I really wanted to understand and hear what you said, so I'm glad that you corrected bus. me. Do you like buses? Yep. What's your favorite thing about a bus? Oh, Do you love when a bus makes that sound? Yep. Buses are cool because there's lots of people on there and you get to make some friends and you're on the bus that's making cool sounds like Arr! Is that the sound the bus makes? Yep. The flag. Is there a flag on the bus sometimes? Yes. The wind. The wind? Yep. Is this an experience you had on the bus? Hit. I love that you're telling me about your adventure on the bus. Yep. The flag. He's never met a stranger in his life, so 
Um, it's not hard to be Miguel's friend. All you have to do is approach him. He loves everyone. Yep. Yeah. Do you like making new friends, Miguel? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do with a new friend? Truck. Drive in the truck? <sighs> we could talk about anything in the world. What do you want to talk about? Truck. Trucks? Yep. What color truck? Red. A red truck? Yep. Do you like red trucks? Yep. Miguel <laughs> names every vehicle in the family. If somebody arrives with a new vehicle, it gets a name. And it's, some of them are very strange and funny, but mm -hmm. he knows them all. He knows when you pull up who it is uh, by the car. What you call grand grandma's BMW? Go-kart. A go-kart. It's a smaller car, so it's a, a <coughs> go-kart. He names all the vehicles. My truck is, you call it Big Red. Yep. Yeah, okay. <coughs> If somebody wants to be Miguel's friend, how do you recommend they start? And Miguel will start that relationship because yeah, they don't he just about join. tackled a guy today on the beach. We're walking on the beach and Miguel beelines for him and hugs him. And the poor guy, you know, didn't know what to do. And he, he looks for approval. And, yeah, sorry. And a lot of times it's an apology. Miguel starts the friendship. Do you like talking about all kinds of cool stuff? Yeah. If somebody wants to be your friend, should they just talk about all these cool things with you? Jet pack. A what? A jet pack. A jetpack? Yep. Like flying? Yep. I would love a jetpack to fly in the sky. Yep. Can you imagine if we could just take off and fly? Yep. Would you go high or would you be scared? Be scared. I'd be scared. I'm, I'm scared of heights. I'm not going high. I'm going <laughs> to stay close to the ground. I'm like, come here. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> Emma is my wife and <laughs> he loves her so much, don't you, Miguel? Emma, you're cute. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I've known Miguel for, I guess, eight years. Um, his brother Zach and I are married. My relationship with Miguel, I guess I would probably be expected to say it's a little different, but I don't know that it feels that way to me. He's just a brother. Miguel, what's your favorite thing to do with Emma? I'm his car. <laughs> riding Emma's car? Yep. Why do you think Miguel <laughs> loves riding in everyone's car? Honestly, probably quality time. <laughs> Riding in the car with people listening to music, you know, he gets to spend a lot of time with people he loves that way, so. Yeah, he just brightens my day, and um, everyone else's. Do you feel protective of Miguel? Uh, I feel very protective over Miguel. Yeah, yeah. Um, not, not everybody in this world is uh, respectful to uh, people um, like Miguel, and, and um, <clears throat> I just want to be there for him as much as I can all the time. You know, all the doctors just didn't believe, you know, that he would ever be at this point. Well, <clears throat> you know, and I guess we never really, we've never really had expectations. We just want manage the care, but grow him Miguel, to be happy him learn and, yeah. and to be in a happy home, to be <laughs> well loved, and be all that he can be, just like we expect for the rest of our children. Yep. Remote. No remote. No remote? Yep. Did you lose the remote before? Yep. Did you look everywhere for it? Yep. Did you find the remote? Yes. Where was it? Right here. Losing the remote is the worst. Play games. You like to play games? <laughs> yep. Playing games is fantastic. <laughs> oh, video games. Yep. What's your favorite video game? Games. I love video games. Pokemon. Pokemon's a good one. <laughs> Would you have a favorite Pokemon? There's Pikachu, there's Squirtle, there's all kinds. Which, po which Pokemon is your favorite? Okay. Do the Mind. Say that again? The Mind. What is that? The Mind. Is that a Pokemon? No. Robots. Robots? Yep. Do you like robots? <laughs> he is just doing his thing, oh, we'll go along with it, and he, he can go for hours. <laughs> Once he gets into his uh, goofy state of mind, it's, it's <laughs> all... <laughs> is it important to accept Miguel exactly how he is? It is very important Absolutely. to accept Miguel exactly how he is. Because we love him and we don't ever want him to change. I am a robot. But Beep, boop, beep. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh yeah. That's it. I like dogs too. I love dogs. 
So I have one more question for you. What? Is there anything else you would like to say? Bug fight. Say that again? Bug fight. Bug fight? No, bug fight. Bigfoot? Yeah. Do you like to talk about Bigfoot? Yeah. Do you think he's real? Yes. Would you like to see one? Yeah. If you saw a Bigfoot, would you approach it or would you leave it alone? <laughs> That is very smart to leave it alone. That is a wild, mysterious creature that we don't know a lot about. I just want him to continue to be him because he has, like I said, exceeded every expectation that anybody else has had, so he's doing something right. And Miguel has influenced every single one of our children. As they grew and stepped into their own light, um, they always turned back and wanted Miguel to be part of it. <laughs> We're all moved out of the house. Miguel's the last one with mom and dad, and we often fight about who's going to get to live with him after mom and dad can't anymore. But it's gonna be Lala. Yep. <laughs> are you gonna come live with Lala? Yep. Yep. So you guys actually argue about that? Oh, definitely. I, we, it's a running joke. It's not, you know, a volatile argument, but um, we often say that each of us will have a room for Miguel in our homes and he can just bounce around. <laughs> but for now, mom and dad are doing awesome. They're still young and they've got a long ways to go, right? To believe. How old were you? 100. 100. Well, yeah, you're 100 and I'm 200, right? Popcorn. Yeah, I'm going to get some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Do you two have a lot of random conversation that's a lot of fun? Yeah, we, we do. He comes up with things right off the cuff, you know what I mean? You never know where he's coming from, but I always answer him, try to relate, relate to him what I'm thinking or what he's saying and try to make something out of it, I guess, to see how far he wants to go with it. And usually it's, he changes subjects right away, so it's not, not something we have a great conversation about, but still, <laughs> it's a, it's, the love is there, right? We got love in our hearts. And guitar. And the guitar. Yep. <laughs>